are you gonna love me? Like I know you do. We're all prepared and ready uh, to head across the Pacific Ocean. So I'm excited. Like I know you do, you're gonna love me. Like I love you, but I'm diving in blind. You just my limit to So, unfortunately, um, we've had to leave Galapagos early. Uh, we haven't had the luxury of sitting around and choosing a weather window of when we want to depart. So, having to leave now means that uh, we don't have the greatest forecast ahead of us. What we've heard from some other cruisers and what we see on Predict Wind is that the convergence zone or the doldrums has moved quite far south. Uh, we've been told that to avoid it we've got to go to 95 degrees west and 6 degrees south um, and do not cut the corner on the way to Marquesas. Um, in that area there's no wind, thunderstorms, and squalls and lightning and uh, would not be very pleasant would probably end up motoring the whole time and then getting hit by squalls and lightning and then back to motoring again so we've got to head south we've got to get to the trade winds and then we can start sailing we zoom in as we can see here the weather we've downloaded from predict wind and um, also what we've heard from other cruisers from with their other sources is that there is the doldrums has moved down here it normally hangs out up here and so we've have to motor the first two days to get south into the breeze to be able to zoom across to the Marquesas Islands. We've seen on AIS uh, there was a couple of other boats, one American and one Swedish, uh, that are leaving the Galapagos at the same time as us. So uh, we've been in touch with them, exchanged satellite phone and email uh, numbers and addresses so that uh, worst case we have a problem or they have a problem we can get in touch with each other but also we talked about the weather and um, they've got uh, someone in Panama doing uh, a bit of routing for them and their guy in Panama agrees with uh, what everybody else is saying that we've got to get south and below their doldrums so we've been going for 12 hours and it's quite unbelievable really there's not a drop of wind uh, the air temperature is rather rather chilly and there's a lot of fog so we're just a bit surprised to be having these conditions so close to the equator um, so we're motoring along at four and a half knots trying to conserve diesel and heading straight south trying to get down to the trade winds we had the wettest night last night um, the boat was absolutely dripping uh, and it was really really foggy I think all the humidity and all the currents and winds just converging in this area um, is to blame uh, so yeah it meant that we spent a lot of time downstairs um, which was quite nice you just couldn't see more than 20 meters in front of the boats so there was no point really being up on deck um, so yeah we stayed downstairs in the dry and just popped our head up every now and then to check on things we finally got enough breeze um, to be able to motor sail successfully without the sails flapping along. So here we are, heading south as much as possible. Today is much the same really. Um, we've still got a lot of cloud and the fog's starting to clear. It's getting a little bit warmer. Uh, the sun is trying to come out but not quite. Um, and I am just upstairs chilling and reading my book while Adam is downstairs watching a movie. You've been hurt and need some time. Something else been on your mind. May come off a bit too strong. I haven't felt real love so long. Baby, take your time. Got a light six knots of breeze. Um, at about a hundred true wind angle. So we thought we should try sail uh, with the big spinnaker we got. Um, and yeah, it's working really well at the moment. We're sailing along at six and a half knots. Uh, half not faster than when we were motor sailing before um, so yeah we've just had enough breeze to get going and luckily we've got a really big spinnaker to push us along um, spinnaker had a tear in it so we had to pull that down and then Eddie's just found a bit of the mast that's broken or boom or whatever it is so he's fixing that right now drama 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 it's not even lunchtime on day one yet so we had our spinnaker blow up 
and on getting that down, I noticed the uh, the gooseneck holding the boom to the mast is um, getting a bit loose. And I uh, came and had a look, and three of the pop rivets uh, had broken off on one side of the four that are there. So I had to drop the main. We're just uh, replacing them, and hopefully uh, gooseneck will hold strong for the, the 2,800 miles we have left. <laughs> Um, well, this will be a rather slow trip without a mainsail. Are you gonna love me? Like I know you do. You gonna love me? Like I love you. Are you gonna so we're cruising along here in uh, six or seven knots of wind uh, with a small spinnaker up because we had an unfortunate situation earlier. The uh, had the big old far 45 spinnaker up and uh, six or seven knots of wind we're cruising along about six knots of boat speed um, quite a tight angle for the spinnaker about 110 120 true wind angle but it was it was all good we're going along fine but um fortunately these waves coming from the south put a bit too much pressure on the old luff of the spinnaker and uh, she split through the middle so we've had to change to the little spinnaker which has slowed us down a couple of knots which is unfortunate but um, we're due for some wind tomorrow so it shouldn't be the end of the world we're still managing to get along now at uh, four and a half five knots without having a motor um, but we might have to repair the spinnaker because the last five or ten days into my case this could get light so it's got a see how it goes and uh, if it looks like it's gonna get light we have to get out the needle and the sticky tape yay we've got wind after motor sailing for the last couple of days um, and a lot of rain. The boat got a really good wash. Uh, but now we have finally got uh, these beautiful southwesterly trade winds, um, 15 to 20 knots. And southeasterly, sorry. No, they're not. Oh, they are. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, we're heading southwest. We're he oh, right -o. Um And we've got the big jib out and the main with the reef in, and we're cruising along at eight. Eight and a half knots, so bloody good day, isn't it? Beautiful. What do you mean, God gave me two left feet? Shooting me glares from the passenger seat. Come on, baby, we got home. Reading a book, honey. Oh, and just tan the cheeks. Why, baby, why do you give me trouble? Sarah didn't put sunscreen on me. I was reading my book in the sun and it got all burnt on the cheeks. Not being able to sit down properly for a few days. It's not very comfy. Oh. Hilarious. So the total distance that we will be travelling between Galapagos and the Marquesas on our Pacific crossing is 2,992 nautical miles. Um, that's in a direct line of course. So what I have done to keep a little bit of sanity on board um, is made these mile markers and what we can do is rip them off um, when we have completed the miles and whittle our way down to zero. Got a bit of a laundromat going on in here today. What better way to dry things though with warm wind and sunshine. Eddie's on the hunt for flying fish and squid that have made their way onto the foredeck during the night. Hey, fishy, fishy, fishy.
do you think of this guy? And he's huge and he fought an incredible fight. He gave me a massive rope burn on my hand and he put blood absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Uh, we're so stoked to catch our first fish of the Pacific. So stoked. That's going to feed us, I think, until we get to Marquesas. Yeah, no more fishing. It's like 20 kilos, maybe more. Yay! No <laughs> way! <laughs> well, that was a bit of a clean up. Um, there was an absolute mess all over the back of the boat. And now Adam has the job of filleting this massive, massive beast. Beautiful. Happy man. Happy. It's been a long time since we've caught a big fish like that. It's been a long time so, since we've caught any fish. Yeah. <laughs> really long time. The Caribbean wasn't very successful for us, but it's good to be out in the open ocean and catch a big fish to uh, feed us all the way to the Marquesas. <laughs> Sound asleep on shift. I'm on shift, are you on shift? <laughs> We've had some very favourable sailing conditions the last day or so. Um, we have hit the trades very nicely and have got about 15 to 20 knots of constant breeze. Um, and our average speed has been, I think, almost eight knots for quite a while now. Tossing and turning, all in my head, I run back, never thinking. If you go, I'll come back for more. How's that for a fish salmon? Running to your own toe. When you turn, I'll always be yours. Running to your toe. I'm running to your toe. Oh no. It's so sad to see you go. I run up to your height, tossing and turning, all in my head I'll run back here, never there again, if you go I'll come back for more, I'm running to your door, I'm running to your door, when you turn I'll always be yours, I'm running to your door, I'm running to your door, oh no. It's so sad to see you go So sad to see you go So sad to see you go Well, we're coming up day seven um, and we have had some unbelievable sailing conditions the last three or four days. Uh, we've had about 15 to 20 knots of breeze um, and we think about one and a half knots of current pushing us along. Uh, so yeah, the boat speed's been about anywhere between eight and nine and a half knots. It's been absolutely fantastic. Um, yesterday we think we did, I think it was like over 200 miles in one day in 24 hours, which is unheard of for this little girl. Um, so yeah, very proud of her. We've now only got 1,800 nautical miles to go and we are counting down until we get to French Polynesia. How many miles to go, Briggles? 1800 Woohoo
good day today. This well, it's good 24 hours, honey. We uh, averaged 8.6 knots and uh, 213 miles in the last 24 hours, which mm. is awesome considering there's just two of us. And um, I think it's the most miles we've done in a day. So happy sailing here in the Pacific. So rewind to a time where our thoughts collide. To a time where our love survives And know that it's true So rewind To a time where our thoughts collide To a time where our love Thousand nautical miles to go! And know that it's true So rewind To a time where our thoughts align Please get complicated when the words sound more like the TV says. How come the day's been locked away? Never cause a fake train to come through my head. My baby, don't pick up the phone. Run away for that dark call. And when I do, you know I'm best singer. But nevertheless, I keep pressing my love. Hey. You and I, we got a lot to sing Super looking forward to getting to stable land and a nice calm anchorage. So we can go for a swim and go for a walk and... We're just enjoying our final sunset right now. With a cup of tea. We're one of the better ones we've seen on the crossing too. Yeah, very. It's been what? 20, 
20, five days. Five days since Panama. Since we left Panama with a 24 hour stop over in Galapagos. We are very much looking forward to making landfall in this beautiful island in the middle of the South Pacific Ocean. I sure wait now for the feelings to strong. I've got to hold out, but I'm not sure for how long I only want you. I can't see and choose between the two And baby I'm falling Why choose now We're the only ones in this beautiful bay on an island in the Marquesas We are so stoked to have arrived Jumped in the water, got our hair wet Time to explore Should I wait now But the feeling's too strong I've got to hold up But I'm not sure for 